team. We're gonna have a Benjamin Moans. Reading Benjamin Moans poem. Childhood. Wow. Childhood. That's a good one. Childhood. Childhood. <coughs> Okay, Childhood. Held most dear in the heart, kept forever in memory. Childhood, the mere beginning of a journey crossing highs and lows. A time of growth and grasping of knowledge, fixed in the mind for many days to come. A golden time in one's life, suffused with energy and questioning. Adhered by the ones who are most passionate of you, set in your life to uphold you to shepherd you down the path designed to lead you through life. The great clock of time ticks faster and faster, gradually <clears throat> reaching a place of change, where a child becomes man, leaving all childish, childish ways behind them. And even though the ways of life will be left behind, the memories will ever be reminisced in the mind. So now you're recording this, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <clears throat> Do I really like it? Except I can tell you something. Like the second the sentence, childhood is the first character, is the first letter should be lowercase or uppercase? Oh. I think it's lowercase. Oh, you mean, okay. Yeah, one word. What about the second sentence? Second, uh. Childhood? Yeah, childhood. You want to be like that? Um, yeah, I think maybe that goes up or down. So anyway, those are spelling things, am I right? So if you're going to submit like a homework, what do we do? We do check the spelling, am I right? So yeah, mm -hmm. those simple things to to change, but it make a lot a uh, difference for people reading those poems, whether you have finished work or not, am I? Right? So if I look at that, I said, Ben, you have now already finished the writing process. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's sent to you, so. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Me. <coughs> now comments from uh, the one is happy about you, hope up the comments is not happy about you, or you're not happy about him anymore, so that is you. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? I don't know, that's that joke. <laughs> I, I would say Claudia was all him. smiling, right? When he's with uh, Noah and I, he's like, I don't talk to you guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> with Benny sitting inside, he can't smell how 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 my face beaming, you know. Yeah, so I think something <laughs> very very interesting. So that's Noah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he walks on. <laughs> he wake up every day. So. Okay, now it's time. I hope so. Go ahead. Any comments? Any comments? <laughs> comments, comments, comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know, right? I feel like we've been on Okay, let me read. I want to read this poem. Okay, I think fine. it's very good one. Thank you. So everybody can. Don't be distracted. I'm gonna read. So everybody can comment with understanding the poem. Okay. So, childhood. Benjamin Nome. Held most dear in the heart. Kept forever in memory. Childhood, the mere beginning of a journey, crossing high and low. Time grew and grasping for knowledge, fixing the mind for many days to come. A golden time in one's life, suffused with energy and questioning. Adhered by the one who are most passionate of you, set in your life to uphold you, to shepherd you down the path designed to lead you through life. The green clock show. time so takes I, I faster and faster, promptly reaching a place to change. Okay. The child okay. becomes okay. Right. Right. Okay. leaving all childish ways right. behind you. Okay. Even the ways of life no. will be left behind. The memories will ever be reminisced in the mind. Okay. That's, that's a really good one, Beijing. So, I like it. Now, go ahead. Okay. And, um, 
I really like the flow of your poem, my dude, and just the way that you start at the beginning and then kind of at the end of, you know, of someone growing up and becoming a, a mature man. Um, I like the points you made also about uh, yeah, yeah, I saw or I feel like I kind of right. went on some similar yeah, stuff in my poem about uh, some points you made. Where was it? Uh, energy. I like the like. That's totally fine. How so, yeah, uh, um, what I'll do is once I get it. What did done, I read? There's something I read about youth <laughs> talking about the energeticness of when you're younger and stuff, right. stuff and how you still and have a lot of energy and right. want to do yeah, things. Yeah, Are you sure that's the case with Benji? Okay. What do you mean? He seems real quiet and then. Okay. He has energy. He has energy? Yeah. Well, I was going to see that side of the yet. Okay. I see a lot of energy with that. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, oh, I, I really like this poem. Oh, you did a very good job. Our, our Thank you. Yeah. So criticism, criticism. Project, no, but yeah, you, you forget. Well, um. <laughs> Maybe there could be a little more explanation on like, like what? Uh, you don't have to. I mean, just give an example would be great. Uh, explanation of what? Um. About child well, I feel like at the end, or like when it, when you talk, or when you talk about when a when a child becomes man, leaving all child's ways behind him, it kind of jumps to even though ways of life, behind, like kind of, I feel like it kind of jumps a little bit. But I guess you can, I guess you can do that in poems. I don't know. I just felt like it was a little jumpy there. But I don't know. Yeah, there's no particular details with what child is in a sense look like. But poem cannot do it. It's not like I see how to solve it like this. So. Good. Thank you. What am I doing? Um. <coughs> It has some good like progression in it, and it paints a pretty good picture of childhood and what childhood is and what it creates as you grow up to be an adult. Um, I feel like it just gives a good description of what that is and looks like. The, the, just like an overview of what it is. It's not super in depth. Um, which isn't really a problem. Mm. Um, I feel like it's pretty, it's pretty good. I like it. Stawa, yeah. do you have any accommodation on the style? Um, it was kind of wonky, style-wise. <laughs> you didn't, like, you kind of rhymed to, like, once or twice in the end, but nowhere else. Yeah. So it just kind of fell out of, like, kind of, fell a little out of place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, with it'll be nice for you freestyle, I mean, you can <laughs> rhyme and then not rhyme, but it kind of makes it sound messy. Sounds good. Yes, I'll check Facebook as soon as we're ready. I feel like <clears throat> if you're going to do one that rhymes, <clears throat> then do it rhyming. No, and if not, not, then like, you probably wouldn't want to rhyme at all. I don't then, see any rhyme. Well, there is an the end. Weird. Behind, mine, all of these. And that was purposeful, right? Uh -huh. To rhyme there? No. No, right? Well, then, yeah, I mean, there is right now. Bye. It is a freestyle for sure. Yeah. That means no style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that, those are my comments. That's your comments? Yep. Thank you. Man. Okay. okay. Pretty good comment. Esther? Uh, I have to really like this poem. You covered like childhood really well, and your points seem really well thought out. 
So, um, evidently, I don't see anybody give reading for this poem. Did you yeah, Justin reading? never graded anyone's poem, oh, okay. so I don't know. So we're going to have Noah to read on the spot, so. <laughs> I don't get to do any grammar editing. No improvement in grammar, so stick with this. Sorry. Okay, I'm grading right now. Okay, I really like the format. You like the format? Like the two lines and stuff in your. That's all you care about? That's what you That's what you care about? That's what you care about? I think it's pretty obtrusive to me. You do? Interesting. <laughs> That's because my screen is... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah it's probably it's different. Like so it to, gets messed. To it's too. so weird. Oh. So. Anyway, okay. I think you did a very good job on this film. Thank you. How good it is? One to ten. Yuck does that. What? I tried to tell you how you read it. One to ten still. Uh... How good it is. Since everything is not pen, everything is not one, something in the middle. <laughs> um, <laughs> you also have a greater here. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's know what to comment and. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, you can know And, uh, and oh. read on it. Um, I, I like this poem a lot. Um, I think Benji did it pretty well in expressing his uh, ideas or his impressions of childhood mm. in a poetic way. <clears throat> so you are you are getting a lot better at being able to express yourself poetically and yeah. I think I think the format is kind of difficult to deal with sometimes because of how it switches between computer and phones and stuff. So that's not something I'm gonna I'm let... teasing you. No, no, it's 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 a relevant thing a lot a lot of the time. It's just kinda weird on this software but uh, I do kind of see you um, reflecting, obviously, <clears throat> on your own childhood, which you're only just beginning to kind of exit out of as you enter into young adulthood. But at the same time, I also see you potentially observing the the lives of those who are young around you, too, and we're seeing mm. kind of how that might reflect in your poem. Like, so you think you're literally... I was about to say, this kind of reminds me of maybe you looking at like a little Elisa sometimes too. Like, yeah, thank Especially you when you say, a yeah. golden time in one's life suffused with energy and yes. questioning. Oh, that was yeah. literally for Elisa, how do you know? She came into my room like screaming and asking questions. And I was like, oh, what's the matter? That's perfect. Yeah, I saw that right away. I see. What I would say too is <clears throat> there are a few grammatical things that would help your poem out a lot, but I'm not going to let may, that... May I ask a question before you move on to one of Sure. Oh, Benji, what in your mind, childhood, uh, the period? Mm -hmm. I mean, what age gap, you know, so... Like, like, like what ages do you think from childhood? From 1 to um, 8? Um, 1 to 12? I think 1 to 12, maybe one to 13. 12. 13, yeah. Yeah, okay. Around so, there. you are 13 years old, 14? 15. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you are too fast. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fifteen years old, I have an adolescent. Okay. okay. You are a youth. You are a youth. I do have one question about uh, one line here as to like what you meant by something, Benji, where you say, adhered by the ones who are most passionate of you, set in your life to uphold you. Like, uh, specifically, adhered by the ones who are most passionate of you. What is? What do you mean by that exactly? If you could expand on that. Yeah. Um, kind of like... The word passion can imply many things, right? mm -hmm. so, especially young love that passion is. So right. Sometimes the passion about you. If I read the poem first, I said, oh, you he, he talking about the young love about so. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I think my impression was just like, those who love you. So what do you mean specifically, I wonder, by adhered by? Do you know what that means? Or what do you mean it to mean? Does the word adhere mean, Benji? I looked at him like weeks ago when I wrote it. Like, Not again. Check it out after the movie. It's fine. It's fine. It just seems a little <coughs> awkward to me. The it way is. You it. Yeah. yeah, I think it was one of those words where I like I already had said something uh, the same a few oh. times, and then I wanted to change it. So like. Oh, you didn't know. Wow. Yeah. So like paint. Oh wait. You might think with your young sister, he, she does adhere to you, like cling to you. <laughs> but you can't translate that to your parents. Maybe your parents don't know how wrong you are, how wrong them, you know? Mm -hmm. 
So you adhere to them. Right. You're, okay, yeah, that's yeah. A, a good point. Point and Yeah. Like, so therefore, all the here is there's a direction thing in us. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we need to do are they here to the ones. Yeah, in this case, yeah, yourself. in this case, you're talking about those who are uh, older than you or like are your parents. Yeah. You might say something like fostered by the ones or something like that okay. by the ones who are most passionate. I would say for you, maybe, instead of you, I don't know. I think okay. the, the confusion comes, the word is okay to me, not to argue with you, I'm sure. thinking, but to hear to the ones who are passionate, that's you, am I? You do it, okay. rather than, you know, your parents doing that to you, am I? So it's a bit that, sure. if you adhere to them, that is making part of sense, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. You see my point? Yeah. You know, that has to your parents, has to your teachers. <laughs> and then like another small grammar thing which I think would help for the la second to last line of your poetry is instead of putting a period here, putting a comma because it leads into that second part. Okay. The great clock of time ticks faster and faster, promptly reaching a place That's of change right. where a child becomes man. Like that. I don't know why they're underlying this because where a child becomes man is perfectly fine in my opinion. Okay. So I, you're gonna ignore that. I have a question. Does where have to be uppercased or not? Uh, I would recommend it is since you're beginning each line with okay. an uppercase letter. It's not the A, C, it's a poem, therefore you always start. Even it's breaking a sentence, you start with a capital. Oh, really? That's yeah. Just, poem. yeah, good, a That's good practice. Yeah. That's why you want to start a line in exactly where it needs to be because <coughs> making sense to poem by so great. Yeah, that's, that's uh, just about it. I would say for just right off the bat grading, <laughs> yeah. I'd probably do a good 8.5. 8.5! Thank you. Uh, that right, Kanoa is high, you know? <laughs> he's 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 five yeah, five he, never, he never goes by 9. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not true. Well, know. thank you. You did that? Yeah. It's funny because. I don't see that. I actually like thought mine was graded at 8. Really? Nobody graded it. Uh, I was like, wait, what? Just your average. <laughs> yeah. Video's new. Video's new. 8.5. It's pretty good. That means we're high. Thank you. I think, I think you do a wonderful job. Thank you. In terms of grading, 8.5. <laughs> 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 okay. So this is the, your best poem so far. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's really It's more poetic right now. Okay. You know, we moved uh, more and more away from essay kind of style presentation. He has some poetic expressions as well, you know, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I actually wrote this one half in Spain. And half oh, in Spain. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, then you translate the whole yeah, in Spain. Yeah, it's been like that long since Spain. we thought, how long did, have we had to write to this? Three weeks. It was like three weeks. This is long. It's pretty long this time. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, next person. Bravo, good job, good job. Thank you. Now let's ask uh, some tough questions to Elijah. Elijah, mm -hmm. you want to tell you how, you, how much for you want to You have to consider he's a bad one. What do you mean? You know, he's 15, you are, you are 17. Right? 16. 16. Oh. Seriously? <laughs> then I was 17 years old? Wait, oh. how old am I? Do I look like I'm one uh, year away from being an he adult? He looks 15. Okay, guys, so... 17 is not Okay, so... I said one year away from being an adult, because I don't need me being 17. Oh, man. He was just oh, trying to be nice. He's pretty young, eh? So... I'd give it... Pretty old. I'd give it an 8. I thought, I thought you guys had at least two <laughs> years difference, so... They oh, work. You're you 17. She's 18. I'm 18 now. You're 18! Yeah. You're an adult? I'm an adult. No more childhood? She can drink liquor in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cross the border. See <laughs> no, so y'all later. Can, I'm heading over to Canada. Maple. Me and Noah are going to go over to Canada. I know, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Okay, the Canadians, man. Eh? You need to go to China. Have some you drink some wine. 15. I guess. <laughs> Maple syrup will be wine and American. Sake. <laughs> so yeah, the Koreans drink sake. The what? The, the Koreans? Koreans oh. uh, college boy, girl drink sake already. So. What? 
Yeah, I drink, I drink a lot of beers when I'm in college, man. And wine. <laughs> and the Chinese wine. Wow. Yeah, getting drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that's a bad topic to start. All right, who's next? My apologies. So. Who's no, next? No, no. Who's next? Thank you for Little Yama. You're welcome. Eliza is next. <laughs> oh, Eliza is next. Let's, let's reserve Eliza for last. So, time to change. Who is that one? Time of youth. Oh, that's mine. I already called mine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, literally, you can look at the road, the street ahead of you, you know, to the horizon. Mm -hmm. So, at that time, a storm began to come in. So, I was literally looking at the ahead of time, the clouds were forming exactly on the highway direction. So, and the lightning thunders to just form ahead of you while you're driving, or drive into it, you know, so. Lighting I really striking, like striking down. Every time, every did you time. say you're in a car and you said in like every car. time you lifted yeah. your hand, the lighting that's was what it, That's what it is. I was listening to you for the worship music. Mm. So in the beginning, I just, you know, any time you know you praise God, stuff like that, I was yeah, pretty young. So. I don't mean to interrupt, but we may want to start reading the poem because Noah seems like he's going to take a little bit. No way, I'm going to read a little story. Yeah, well, I, mean, I, was just, I was just saying, I was just saying, Go ahead. that might be a little... Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, so newsboys do nice. this pretty good, you know. And uh, so I, anytime I raise my hand up, and the lighting just like, yeah. struck exactly on the highway direction, right? Wow. So I began to, you know, I said, this is strange. Every time I raise my hand, praise God, you know, and the lighting began to strike. So I began to pay attention to it, and, you know, the guy driving me around, just, I said, do you notice every time I raise my head, a lightning cover up? He shakes his head. Oh, you just make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Oh, his, his name is Big Day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the first night. Yeah. So. Anyway, I, you know, and, uh, so I said, you don't believe me? I'm going to do it again. <laughs> For another 15 instances of this. And this wow. is 15 instances. Whenever I raise up my head, the light in the shock is dark. You know, eventually he's just like, that's not happening, you know, so rushing him, you know what I I said, whenever I raise my head, the light in the shock is dark. So, I'm, you know, in the beginning, I get teasing him a little bit. And uh, so we try ahead of time. Then he begin to win, they begin coming in. And rain begin to fall down. Hills began to fall down like this large, you know? And uh, the wind that was so heavy, it literally tried the, the rain like a, like a flying straight at the, ahead of you. You know, when you drive into the wind, drive against the wind, the car really cannot move, so the, 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 the rain like a shiny at you, you know? Like, a, like bullets, you know? So, and especially when the hill fall down, man, <laughs> so it was very impactful for the, oh, yeah. the, the storm. And uh, he was uh, terrified because nowhere to go in the middle of the road. Right. And uh, if certainly he or like this lot is going to die, he thought they're going to die. It's a storm. So I said to him, I said, hey, you're with me. Not going to die. Don't, don't worry about this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we survived that. Um, uh, he then began to say, hey, you know, the hills falling out like that, you know, Beating on trees, beating on the crops, uh, on, on the side there are plants. Uh, it, my car in the dent, I said. I'm getting frustrated at this point. I said, your car not have a single dent. So he said, are you better on that? I said, sure, better on that. Okay, uh, lunch no less than $20. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's the best. I'm not finished my story yet. So we drive ahead time, pass that storm, getting close to Texas, uh, to Austin now. That's a little bit away from Austin. About five o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, ahead of time, the, the video begins to, to stop all music, whatever, they begin to broadcast it. Hey, be aware, there is a tornado come on this way. We look around, said, what? We saw a tornado. A huge tornado coming to a formation. <laughs> Literally from nothing, it's just a form and again, you know, large, large enough to get the sweep ahead of us. And the county kind of said, oh, tornado warning. So uh, we stopped a little while and then decided to drive in. You know, so. And I said, how are we going to die? How are we going to die? I said, no worries, you know. Let me pray for that. <laughs> well, we stopped there, I said, let the tornado die down, Lord, you know, so open to him. And sure enough, the tornado disappeared. You know, you can, you can look around in the side, you can see the tornado disappear. That's one of the natural uh, miracle encounter I had. 
And uh, Big Dave don't believe it, you know, so I said, you know, well, what, can you try it on? Another 10 minutes. <laughs> I said, well, I don't know if it disappeared or not. Uh, and you all know, make sure that it disappeared. We're not going to drive on. We just wait here. I said, okay, what do you want me to tell you? The, you just see the turn of the dial out, you know? So, well, how about the radio? Uh, let, let's play the radio we broadcast to tell you the, the storm just uh, come out. And I uh, said, uh, so he said, this is not exciting to you, but it, it's exciting to me the moment. It's so <laughs> awkward it is. I, I, and on the radio, and the broadcast said, for unknown reasons, unknown reasons, the tornado disappeared. So the warning is, uh, you know, re re receding. Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, we call, we call the, the warning. So here he's just like, he pretty, at that moment, he's pretty upset with me. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> so we drive home and I get to my apartment. The first thing, jump off the car, storm down, and the uh, song came out, by the way, nine times. He said, I'm going to examine my car, hold on a minute, before you go to your place. <laughs> See, I did then on the house. <laughs> he examined all the way in the car, you know, it took about 10 to 15 minutes. I was standing there, seeing him look at him. <laughs> it took time, you know. <laughs> Not a single dead. He doesn't have a new car, you know. Not a single dead. So I had to um, tell him, he was not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't tell him as I would do. Where's my lot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I. No, I want to improve what I say. Sure. I don't want you guys to be foolish with your faith, whatever. But that's that's a real story. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> Lord, we do thank you for Lord the testimonies of your, uh, Lord the the things that you have done in our lives, Lord that. Um, Lord, circumstances, Lord, things that we even know to be, or what seem to be miracles, Lord. Lord, the way that you, uh, Lord, that your hand works even in the midst of our circumstances, Lord, to to give us a new and broader perspective of who you are, Lord. Lord, I do thank you for uh, the strength of uh, each one's faith, Lord, that would continue, Lord, to, to lead us on a straight path unto you. Lord, guided by you, Lord, in all that we do, Lord, that we would not let our own minds and hearts be overcome by what would seem to be, Lord, impossible in this world, Lord, for truly, Lord, there, there needs to be, Lord, a perspective in each one of us, Lord, to see that uh, with you, Lord, all things are indeed possible, Lord, may this not be taken uh, foolishly by us, Lord, but with and under the light of uh, your spirit, Lord, to see Lord, that when your will, uh, your will always has its way, Father, Lord, it, Lord, you, um, Lord, all things will happen according to your purpose, Lord, in each individual life, Lord, in, uh, in the, the story of man as a whole. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, I pray that we, indeed, as I prayed, would have a, a broader perspective of our own lives, or in the way that it uh, compares to this same backdrop, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you know, I can tell you his story. When he was very young, he was, uh, you know, teen. His dad told him he started certain prayers about natural things. And I remember you were quite young, six or seven years old. Very <laughs> young. And uh, there is a back porch on their, on their home back in Austin. Remember, you guys remember that back porch? On the second second story, uh -huh. yeah, he was there assessing. Somehow inspired no one to pray for rain or something. <laughs> <laughs> God, if we ask my prayer, send rain, though, you know. This is there sitting there, the rain begins to fall. It was very exciting for his dad here, you know. Oh, no, let's pray for rain, rain, come down, you know. Out <laughs> of nowhere. <laughs> Ring, I thought that was in the backyard. You're all in the backyard. Backyard or somewhere? Were we all in the remember. backyard? You were there? I thought that's Well, I remember there. you guys talking about it that day, but. Like, no, the story was shared with me. I'm not you're there. Sure? You were I there? I was not there. Yeah. I, I remember there. something about being in the backyard. 
Yeah. Pretty sure you were there, actually. I was there. I don't quite remember. Yeah, you guys had just prayed for me, and then I went out the back, and... Yeah. yeah. That's what I remember. I was like, one of the few things I remember. Yeah. Goodness. Okay. I'm sorry. A lot of, <laughs> no, a lot of detail I messed it up on my board. My point is that uh, you must have seen some very good experiences. The poems uh, were really good. <laughs> now, now it's back. It's inspired. So let's move on. Esther, what's your... Do you care to read your poem? Mm -hmm. Surely. You want me to read? No, I said surely. Okay, surely. I mean, you can read it if you want, but... Yes, no, I want to read it. Read it with, uh, like, a poem. Childhood. Young and free, like a child should be. Not a worry in their mind about what tomorrow may see. Mm. Like planting a blackberry bush, yet hoping for an apple tree, a child will always reap what is sown for them. Mm. A child always wants to be old and free, an adult young again. Enjoying life at every stage is the best way to age. That's a beautiful scene in the last one. Mm -hmm. That's where we're inside of fun. Yeah. I don't know, I can't see that. And learn that one thing. So I was worried about tomorrow. I reminisce in my past, like it was stormy days. <laughs> That's good. Um, comment from uh, Naomi. I see a lot. Esther has definitely doing better with um, being more poetic. She did mm. a very good job on this. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the point you made, or I am a little confused about the point you made about, uh, like planting a blackberry bush yet hoping for an apple tree. Mm. A child will always reap what is sown for them. I don't, I, I'm just a little lost. Can well, you explain that a little bit? Yeah, I just feel like some people, uh, will see their child grow and not exactly like how they grew up or something. And it's kind of like because of them not showing them the right way. Oh. Oh. But. Hmm. I think uh, expand on that idea to a contrast would be great, right? When it's good ones, you saw a really good thing, right? So yeah. the other is like you said, is wishful thinking because it's not really doing the sowing the right seed in childhood, right? Mm -hmm. So then with that, uh, because uh, childhood is like the planting of the seeding season, therefore I would just say it, uh, a man will reap what is soul in, in his, when he was a child, am I something yeah. like that, you know? So be, rather than say that a child will reap, because a child don't reap, it's still in the childhood time, am I? So mm -hmm. a man will reap what he saw uh, his childhood life, something mm -hmm. later. Yeah. So the confusion will be totally gone then. So yeah. Yeah. there's a reason for actually that expression to expand it, am I? So more than bring clarity, how a lot of poetic imagery can be applied there, am I? So, you know, and uh, more content to your, to your poem. But I like the poetic way of thinking and the truth being applied behind there. Uh, you just uh, uh, struggle with expression there, am I? So, yeah. <coughs> Is that, that, that answer your question yeah. there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um. Uh, short and sweet. <laughs> I don't have much else to say. I, I don't think I have any more suggestions. Mm -hmm. But you did very good this time, Esther. Mm. We're good. The the most poetic uh, poem we have written. Yeah. A lot of uh, analogies of metaphors provide. So quite expression. And point the meaningful, especially the last one, enjoy life at every stage, the best with the age. That's like uh, 
Man, you've had you've had a moose five down the wall. Let's work through the through the statement there. So yeah. We're a wise statement. That like a proverb there, so good job of that. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's my comment there. Uh, if I'm doing grading on this throughout there, I will give eight point five to you as well. Compared to your age. How old are you this year? Fifteen. Twelve. You are 15 as well? <laughs> no, are kidding. you guys joking with me? No, she's just kidding. She just a week ago. You just turned 14, right? So no, I'm 15. Elijah's right? lying. You're 15. He's 9, you're 15. Yeah, Elijah's exactly. 9, I'm 15. Uh, Everyone always thinks that. I sure believe you. Yeah, they always think I'm like, yeah. Yeah, so there you go, you. You're uh, 9. I'm 25. I'm 25. I thought you were 24. I wish I was a few years younger. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I like Esther. Esther is going to be my buddy, man. She's a funny. She's <laughs> <laughs> your funny buddy? Yeah, funny buddy. Yeah. Yeah. No one is too serious. Oh. Mm, mm, Nam is too detached. You know? uh, it depends on the age group, I wish. <laughs> Like so it depends on the age she group. Then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, She's not near the yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude, now you're good at it. Anyway. I had... <laughs> yeah, we already went. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we're already done with Esther. Okay, bye. Yeah, we're done All right, with I, can go. Go. I think we're done with Esther. Wait, just uh, <laughs> uh, write it. Uh, okay, read it. He said it in the library. No, it's like great. Oh my gosh. Read it. You are too. You read it for it. Uh, yeah. I think it's probably 7.5. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, now wait. wait what is hey, it? you didn't ah. even give me a chance the to start. So. Okay, comment. The test is who's more. Okay, no, I want the comment. So. <laughs> no one the comment. Okay, am I going? Uh, no, not yet. Well, I think I really like Esther's ideas. A lot, so that's yeah. what gave her the majority of her points. It's just the way that she worded things was really be dramatic, huh? Yeah, just did, right, some yeah. things just didn't work. Whether or not you take it to the scope of poetry, they just it just doesn't. The idea is very meaningful. Are you listening, Esther? Yes, I'm listening. You you looking somewhere else? Yeah, I was listening. Your mind is uh, solving miles away. No, I was listening. Okay, so what he said. You're just saying that it, what the words I said wasn't really. Oh, good. Really good. Well. Good. Continue. Um, yeah, like the example you use uh, in the middle did kind of throw me off a little bit there, too. But I do understand that what you're saying when you say a child will always read what it sounds for them. It seemed like right off, like initially, that you were talking about a child will reap what they sow, but that's not exactly what you're saying. So you, just, you kind of have to catch that. Just to, uh, it makes. Just the way you wrote it make, made it kind of hard to catch that. Like you were actually talking about um, parents, I guess, in that particular thing, or people that are responsible for the life of the child. Hmm. Um, That's where a good obligation there. And another thing, too, is right after that, where you say, a child wants to be old and free, an adult, young again. It seems like... I know what you're saying there, too. You're saying... A child wants to be young, but an adult wants to be young again. That's what you're saying there. But the way you worded that is like you're saying a child wants to be old and free and an adult and young again. That's what it kind of sounds like to me, the way you worded it. It's all about wording. Yeah, wording. Your thoughts is right on. The expression there is not quite good. There. Well, you're saying a child wants to be all of those things. It's, yeah. it's just the way you say... word it. It's made it sound oh, okay, yeah. Even though it's not what you're, even though that's not what you're saying. So I should say and adult. I think you would just say that one. Uh, can we give you some success and conquer success to you, Esther, so you learn yep. something maybe, or maybe not. You know? No, I'm, we're I'm not, not sure. I'm helpful here, but it, a child all wants to be wise, old and wise, because the free it has to young life, right? Yeah. So, send a child young and free, you know, from that nature. I know it's breaking your rhyme, but uh, mm. it's more suitable for the expression, am I? So, yeah. Um, uh, the, the child on the wise, am I? To be old and wise, am I? So, but a young adult, he just, you know, I want to be young and free, you know? So, moving mm. along, right? So, um, 
Yeah, something of that nature. The second paragraph is difficult to, on the spot, to do succession for you. But I think in the prior time, you can work with someone else. Say, can you help me to, 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 to work this out? I have a better expression for the second paragraph, you know? So yeah. there's, there's, there's a way you can learn by doing that. I'm going to see others can help you with expression like that. Mm -hmm. There's a more meaningful point there. You know, the point is, is we're a good one, surely. If you look at the, 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 the inside you shared here, it's marvelous, you know? That's, that's what I try to get, I can know I feel the same. It's the thought, the, 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 the truth is rather you try to express about childhood, it is, it is marvelous, you know? We're very thoughtful, so, yeah. Well, with that, uh, we're gonna wrap it up with, with we can't have everybody come into that tip forever, so um, now me go ahead. Good job. All right. Time of youth. A time of growth and time of vigor. Spirits so full, their minds so much quicker. The adolescence of existence and desires ever extending. It's the time of rooting, maturing, and fruiting. Finding our path to what strives us the most. Following what our heart desires and displaying it in full boast. Passed down from father to son, the life in which our roots come from. We hold a generation in our hands in which to fulfill our father's plans. Very good. You want to stab somebody? No. I'm not threatened. Because I already tried him. Did he try you? You get seven with us. Okay. Let me, let me see some in action. Go ahead. Try it. Huh? Let's see. Oh, that's how you put it. Okay, I see. Okay. Naomi. Um, a word of view one. Uh, anybody volunteer for comment? Feel free. Mm -hmm. what have, you, have you listened to this poem yet? It's the first time I've heard it. Yeah, okay, yeah. let me read. I want to eat you on it. Eat you on it. Is that the right word? A time of growth in the time of Vega. Spirit so full. And the mind so much quicker. The, the lessons of existence and desires ever extending. In the time of reading, maturing, and fruiting. Finding our path to what strives us the most. Thrive. Strives us? Stri thrives us. Thrives us? Okay. The most. Following what our heart desires and discipline it in full boast. Passed down from far to some, the life in which our roots come from. We hold this generation in our hands, in which to fulfill our father's plan. I see some uh, confusion, the grammar mistake, but I don't want to move on with that. So, so. <coughs> Uh, comment yourself. So comment, you guys. Comment, Benji. What does vigor mean? It's kind of like uh, energy. Almost an energy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Energy, like an energy. <laughs> um, not winning. You know that. No. It's not winning. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you Um, but I like it. It's. Definitely different from other ones that you've written. I think some things are a little, a little confusing. Okay, for right. the adolescence of existence. What, what do you? Adolescence is kind of like the time 
that we're in right now, just like youthful young time adolescence. But like, so like the, like it's. I mean, adolescence is a childhood. It's like that. It's like youthful time of existence, I guess. Okay. But I guess yeah. Yours right. youth, basically. And, yeah. and I like how you expressed. You were more detailed than um, some of the others, like my masters. You kind of went a little bit deeper than uh, we did. I think it's. Uh, it didn't really like when I first read it. It didn't really like sound like it was childhood. Childhood, yeah. But um, definitely like some points of it. Definitely like. Well, I was kind of told to do more. Like I was told to use. Youth. Childhood. I thought that was there. I think it's supposed to be youth. I don't. I don't remember. I was told childhood. Yeah. Childhood. I thought the text said childhood. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. As long as you write something meaningful. So it was supposed to be childhood, or because I remember being told youth. Somebody similar. told me. It's, who chose the topic? Who chose the topic? You did. I did. Yeah. No, I did not choose the topic. Childhood, did I? I didn't. I think Who knows? One of y'all did. Well, that's you guys yourself. Yeah. Too. It was you. Dude. Either you, you or Elijah. I, didn't do that. I know I didn't. I remember, I Emmanuel. I think it was like chosen. You said you said it you, was, you, you said you liked a point in my essay or something. You said yeah. I like oh, Emmanuel's point. Oh yeah, it was it was you I think. I think and you said to do childhood or youth. So it reminded me of your essay. I can't remember. Our S. <laughs> I wrote. Uh, it was the essay on. He didn't do it. He didn't. He, wait. Yeah, you were not. No, yeah, he wasn't here. So yeah. I wrote an essay. Remember, I read it in front of everybody. And, His word good essay. What uh, but I, did, I think he sent a text. You did assign it. Well, he did send the text, yeah. but it doesn't mean he came up with the idea. I think you assigned it. I don't think someone. Okay, uh, but. I'm pretty sure it was like we hadn't assigned we anything didn't sign it, yeah. on so. Monday. I mean, it doesn't matter. He did a good job. I like what you wrote here. So. It does flow well. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, it's, yeah. it's childhood. Titled childhood. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Youth is okay for me. I'm going to try to be the ugly teacher. Alright, now what would you give it? Okay, comment, begging, no criticism, only praise. Well, he said a few things. He, he said criticism. He said a few things. Yes, questions. Okay. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay. No, I like it though. Um, Elijah? Um, you don't need to look at I think it. it was pretty well written. The. It's. Thank you. It's a pretty well written. Okay. I really like the way that you write it. Um. In the world. Um. Naomi's. Um. Okay, you need to get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> Naomi's palms usually carry this similar kind of color to them, mm-hmm. where it's just kind of. Um, uh, just really simple. Mm-hmm. Her palms are simple, and I like how, she, how she's been able to keep her palms. Expression simple. Uh, the meaning is not that simple. Yeah, so. I don't. Yeah, it's so good. Um, just kind of simple in the way of the way she writes it, and then I like how she's been able to keep that through all the palms mm. and keep that same um, style, which is nice. And this one's good. Um, there were a few, like Benji said, just kind of some. Do you see any errors in grammar or expression? Well, I'm not very good at grammar, but I was. But I, I don't really. Or in play, uh, room for improvement. Just kind of. I mean, I couldn't say I'm not very good at grammar to be honest, but um, I don't really see anywhere where I could input somewhere to be better. Okay. Uh, Esther? Um, I don't really have much to add from what everyone else said. I like mm. the way you rhymed in this poem. Or like, what, it's kind of like what you did every poem, but it flows together really well. I think you did a great job. 
Okay, uh, let me look at the third paragraph, the second sentence. What uh, sh is that? Thrives? Strives. Hmm? Strives are the best? That's the most. Strives, uh, I don't know, it can be used like that. Can it be used like that? No. No. Yeah. You're saying something is striving us. What We are the ones that do the striving. We are not being strived. Okay. We sh we strive for the move. The verb yeah, strive. On which we on strive the most. The most. <coughs> on which we strive the most. For oh. which we oh, strive. Which. Okay. Yeah. Stuck because on the path, the, the mind, no, me, mm -hmm. the path. Yeah. On which we strive the most. Or a language, whatever. Which top? See, which top mean? Watch your mama. Which mean? Oh, I come can't. on, Neil. You know how to spell that word? I don't know. That's embarrassing. That's a difficult word to spell. It will not let me type. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Is an older brother? <laughs> well, what's happened to your finger? I thought I have arthritis, everything. There we go. On which strive us the most. Why is it underlining it? Because look what it says. On oh. which we strive the most. You're we strive us. most. Okay, one of the... Um, Okay, we're gonna let you finish. There you go. Okay. Um, better finish your comments. I already finished. That's it? Yep. Yeah, that's okay. One of the big problems I have here, uh, Naomi, is about uh, changing for uh, observation point or speakers, you know, the person speaking. Mm -hmm. You look at that, uh, the last part, paragraph, spiritual for their mind. So much bigger. That means you you commenting somebody else uh, there, am right? So yeah. other than us, am right? Mm. Yes, that's my point, you know. So then in the third paragraph where we came from, said so finding our path suddenly become us, you know. Mm -hmm. So so I I there is no transition for that shift. You see my point? Right. You know, this is there. So. Uh, if you want to change the inconsistency, I would change the first paragraph of our minds, and I so much quicker, so yeah. then change everything. Make it sense to you? So, mm -hmm. yeah. so that's important in terms of expression, you know, poems especially. You want, don't want to change the observation point, and right? In yeah. a sense, so that is a danger. The other is actually in the third paragraph, the last one, following what our heart desires. <coughs> oh, that's good. And this plan again for boast. The word boast, uh, I'm not sure it's a good way to, to express. I, I think it's okay, but it, it's a right way to put it. No one comments on there. So the word boast can be used in that way. Usually. So it's like they always wearing stuff is always like right on the line. Like it's. Yeah. You can't really tell if it works or not. It's uh, it's uh, it's a little bit unsettled. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. If it's unsettling, <laughs> then it, 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 it just doesn't probably work. doesn't. Just yeah. probably doesn't work. Yeah. We try. We try the most, following what our heart desires. It's like you know how some games have, or even movies have humans that look really, really real, but they just don't they're There's not all the way there not right about and it's something it. really unsettling <laughs> <laughs> that's thanks what, no that's what your english is <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> how about this uh, it tends to the total meaning okay but it's rhymes i would just, just tell you how to rhyme on it face is a course at any cost wait what face is the is course at any cost because you on the path right oh. yeah, yeah. Finishing its course at any cost mm -hmm. costs the most life and life. So. Wait, do it? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, can someone else here please? I like, cannot. Oh, okay, I see. No point. Okay. Is that okay for you? Are you yeah. okay with that? Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then no, I'll do it. <laughs> what? The course at any cost. It's like a discipleship that you pay any cost for. Right. I like that, so. Now the last paragraph is very interesting. Uh, requires some uh, thoughtful reflection at the same time. Maybe better expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's a good one. It's a good one. I had a so, hard time. If I'm being honest, I had a hard time writing this poem. You had a hard time. I think yeah. I yeah. yeah. But he did some work, good observation. Yeah, like maybe. what he tried to express yeah. in the last paragraph. I think it's a very, very wonderful point to make. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the expression is a bit jumbo there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you can work on that privately as well. Let's turn to Noah for him to comment and do it. Maybe like a six. No, why is it funny sometimes? Okay, good. We're in good company now, so yeah. no luck. No, I think your ideas are fine, just like Esther had a similar problem with expressing stuff, which is important in poetry, which is why we do this writing class. It's just that was something that need needed to be worked on and it's more likely that we would face things like this in this particular session because didn't have a chance to edit it because I don't think Justin was able to get around to that uh, but I would probably give it a good probably same as this for 7.5 okay um, the reason you have Justin to help is because Noah was at the time <laughs> He was in Austin helping me like that. So now he's come back. So uh, can you keep on Kayla's and um, his yeah. poem to, to be a great, great uh, what is the grade for this one? Uh, I was thinking probably 7.5. Mm, I do think you can do a better job. Yeah, me too. That's, so, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You feel yourself. I mm, nice, could have yeah. had some time yeah. to edit. <coughs> Things have gone otherwise. I'll come back to it to uh, re reorganize it according to the comments so to that in the end. For example, the first paragraph is our minds, and right now their minds. So, yeah. yeah. So that Naomi in the future, even do a collection of poems, you have a final edition, right? Before right. you move on. Rather than just leave there, hey, I don't care about it anymore. Do you, you want to collect them? Continue to improve on those poems, you know? so. I mean, 25 want to say, hey, I wanted to have a collection of Yeah, my dad was talking about like, yeah, making a book yeah, work. Yeah, and that requires some editing work for right. your own part. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was to say to do sooner than later, you know, before right. you forget all of those possessions. So. Well, next time we're going to have Elijah to uh, yeah, Kayla, share Kayla. Yeah, well, yeah. she might not be. Yeah. Now, we need to do a assignment today. So, Essie. Last time conversation self discipline ourselves was really good. I remember that. So yeah, yeah. And, uh, we're gonna do. Did we do on humility yet? Yeah? That's a big topic, right? So yeah, we're gonna write the fancy called uh, humility and the pride, or worse is pride. Yeah. So we can reflect on the two. As a pair. Is that okay for you guys? Okay. You know what? Go ahead. I think I might do something a little bit different uh -huh. and slightly easier, but not, not like it'll be, it'll take, well, I don't know if it'll be easier or not, but the reason I say this is because they are assigned currently a pretty large essay in history class that they have to have done by a certain oh, they have time. A lot going on, but so I think a good idea that I just thought of to actually help the take a little bit off the load at the same time even prepare them for what they are going to have to do for this essay mm -hmm. is that they will they are going to I, I'm just recommending this but if they can maybe write a uh, like a quick summary of this subject say in humility like do a narration of it 
in the sense that they take notes for the subject and then give, say, a uh, two to three minute, minute. <laughs> a two to three minute, minute. Presentation? presentation, verbal presentation, <laughs> instead of us simply reading this. That's a really good point. Still, right. still write something on Docs that is well edited and send okay. it to the uh, okay. editor. Can, can you get that out before it releases today? So. There is not a word count in this particular yeah. thing, but no it, it does have to be at least two and a half to three minutes long, the presentation on your ideas of humility and pride. Yeah, at least three minutes. Can we have to talk about it? That's, yeah, yeah that's what you're going to be doing yeah, on the day. General. It's just to prepare you for what you're going to have to you do. You can read if you want to. Okay, read out. This is to prepare you what you have points, to do for the yeah. essay, Justin's essay. Holy points, okay. practice your speech. It's a great one before I do. But you works. reflect on the essence, right? So that's the point. It's get some uh, solid talk in your, into your guys' young, young lives rather than talking about the flowers. Water pose of the day, you know, so it's good to write. But I want you guys to spend the time more thinking about solid topic of life, so and learn some life lessons. So.